Good morning, and welcome to Saints ASB Homeroom News. Kraus, Josh, and Diane Sawyer are off tonight, but with us we have the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Calapari, the Saintsman who directed the Hogar Infantile video you just witnessed. Chris, spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Thank you. Thank what, you. what inspired you to start this project, and how long have you been working on it? You know, the thing that actually inspired me was uh, Mr. O'Byrne. He came to me with this project right before semester one finals and uh, basically asked me to document a day in the life down at the orphanage. And I was just so captivated by the, the goal for this, vi this documentary. And um, I just took the idea and ran with it and came back. Uh, intercession was in film production class with Mr. Osberg and spent the whole month of January filming, editing, producing, and uh, ultimately getting the final product that we have here. That's incredible. I did absolutely nothing during film production class, so the fact that you accomplished that is incredible. You know, what I like about the documentary is that for so many of us, we haven't been down to Hogar Infantile, but yet we support the orphanage through our grilled cheese, March Madness brackets, a little baked potato action, and you showed us a view that many of us have not seen before. Yeah, and that was actually the goal of this video, is to make it a ministry as Christians uh, for each saintsman to support the orphanage in a different way of not just providing for themselves by getting the burrito or filling out the March Madness bracket, but actually thinking of the kids while they're doing it and how they're helping uh, these less fortunate kids, um, you know, that is incredible. My, uh... That is so cool. I also heard that your film was picked up by the San Diego Latin Film Festival. It was. It was. It was uh, just screened at the Latin Film Festival uh, several weeks back, and uh, it went really well. Um, it was in a youth visions part of the film festival, and it was a really rewarding experience to have uh, a film that I worked on for so long and put countless hours into have it shown uh, in a very notable theater um, in front of a couple hundred people. So that was pretty awesome. That's great. The Latin Film Festival is awesome and so incredible. So you ended the video on a call to action. What do you think is next for Saints been watching with us tonight? You know, we're at $17,000. And the goal here at Saints that we have on our thermometer is 20,000. And the thing that I see for Saints by the end of the year is that we can fulfill that goal and actually raise more than $20,000. Because you've seen this video, I hope, my hope is that you have a more personal uh, connection to the kids down at the orphanage. And instead of just buying the burrito, like I mentioned, you're thinking of the kids and how you're helping them. And so that's my uh, yeah. vision for this. That is incredible. I'll definitely be thinking of the kids when I buy my next burrito. So great, Chris. You know, beautiful, touching, motivating. Anything you'd like to add? The one last thing that I'd like to add is before this project came to me, I had no intention of going down to the orphanage. and when I went down there, it was just such an eye-opening experience beyond what this video that we just showed can give someone. And if you have the chance uh, during your Saints experience here, is I hope that you will go down to the orphanage with Father Kirk uh, and the campus ministry office because it's such a rewarding and eye-opening experience, as I said. Yeah. I'll definitely be going down there. The epitome of St. Augustine High School right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching with us tonight. Enjoy the rest of your homeroom.